Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost, and today we are going to finish off the inventory. The last thing to add, for now, is just dropping items. We need the ability to be able to drop the items and pick up the correct stack amount. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, let's get right into it. So, first things first, if we open up um, script play inventory, we're going to add um, the ability to drop items. So, just down here we'll say... Uh, drop item section. So the way we're going to start this off is we're just going to say if uh, my y is less than or equal to uh, 360 minus 32 so that just says that the the mouse is higher than the quick slots is what that essentially means. Uh, we'll just say if um, mx oops go away razor synapse. Uh, so if mx is bigger or equal to 640 divide 2 uh, plus one three three uh, divide two. That just means that's just the calculation to say if the mouse is to the right of the inventory box, and then we'll just say or mx is less equals or less than or equal to six forty divide two minus one three three divide two. So that then obviously just means that if if the mouse is above the quick slots but to the left of the inventory and to the right of the inventory. So. That's true. Let's let's declare var variable item, and that will be instance uh, create layer on the mouse x and the mouse y on instances, and we're just going to create UI dot inv selected because obviously that's going to be the item that we select has to be on the floor, right? So we'll just say item dot on floor is True. Now this is going to have to be a variable that we put in all items that um, that are able to end up on the floor as like a collectible. So now that we've just got to loop loop through the inventory once again. So i equals one, while i is less than ten. I plus equal one. So let's loop through the inventory and we'll just say actually first we have to say, we have to say if ui dot inv selected is ui dot inv Oops, inv i. So this is just looping through the inventory. So as i increases, obviously it looks through every position um, of the inventory. And then in here we'll just say ui dot inv i. So this means that if the inventory selected is at this is at the right point, then the point that it's at will just now equal no one. Item dot my stack is going to equal ui dot inv num at the correct position. Uh, this is also a variable we have to create in all items that we can put on the floor. We then have to say um, ui dot inv oops dot inv num of position i is now zero, and then break, and then uh, just under here we'll go with ui dot inv selected is now no one. So there we go, that, that will allow dropping items on the floor. Uh, however, well, as I just said, there's a few variables when I want to add to all, the items that, that, to all the items that can be on the floor. So if we go into the tools, um, my stack is just going to equal one. And I'm just going to copy this into all of the tools. Okay, so in um, object loop, uh, object loop rock, I'm going to do the same. Um, and yeah, my stack is just going to equal one to start with in everything, actually. Um, oh, but you know what I forgot? We also have to say on floor and just make that equal false, and that's to go in everything as well. And there we go. So next up into the tools draw then. We need to say if um, on floor is false, then we'll draw. We'll we'll go through the draw tool script, which draws it to the player. Else, though, we're going to give it a shadow. So draw set alpha at zero point three. We'll do fine, and then we'll draw the ellipse um, in color, and we'll go with x minus sprite width. Divide 2, 
go y minus 5x plus sprite width divided 2 and then we'll go y plus 3 uh, and then c black c black and no outline or false whatever and then draw set alpha one and then draw self sweet and this has then got to go in all the tools uh, put in the draw then oh but you know what I should actually have just copied all of this there you go and and there we are. So now in the step event, we're then going to have to say um, if on floor is true. If and then we're just going to we're just going to add the we're just going to check see if we click on it, and if we click on it, we'll run the add to inventory script. Now, if we're going to script inventory, there's a couple of changes in here just to adapt it to the new to the new code. Um, so, first of all, in here we just need to say plus my stack. So the reason for that is, obviously, if you remember what we're doing here, is we're checking to see if we can add the item that we pick up to the current stack in the inventory. And before that, we assumed that every stack was only going to be one, but now. If you drop a stack of five, you're going to pick up a stack of five again if you click the item. So now we have to say if um, the inventory num um, plus my stack does not equal does not exceed max stack, and then we'll add it to the inventory. But this one then has to say plus equal uh, my stack, um, and then we have to adapt this bit down here. But it's real simple. This one, just this, just then equals my stack like that. Because this is then saying, um, well, if you, if the item doesn't already exist in the inventory, then we're going to create the the item. We're just going to add the item to a new slot in the inventory. So then the stack just has to equal the amount you pick up. And uh, yeah, let's see if that worked. Okay, so I have now picked up a couple of rocks. Let's open the inventory, and this rock should pick up five, and that one should pick up one. So let's see. Yep, one. And sweet, that works. Can we drop these? Yes, we can. And pick them up. Yeah, there we go, guys. The inventory is now finished for now. Um, I'm not sure what the next episode is going to be. Probably something to do with eating food and like a food meter or a starvation meter or whatever, uh, whatever else. And then I suppose we'll have to come back to the inventory at one more time at a later point just so we can right-click items in the inventory to use them, like food and stuff like that. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gents. And I will see you next time. Hey guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.